It's day 17 in our devotional, and the word that I would love us to focus on is actually a phrase, letting go. Uh, have you ever been in a situation that just felt harmful? Uh, and there's no way that you can actually, uh, as much as you want, there's nothing you can do to correct it. One of the misgivings that we have as Christians sometimes is to be a doormat to people. You know, we have Jesus who tells us that if they strike you on one side, turn to turn the other cheek. He, he talks about not choosing violence as a way, but he also does not want us to be in a place that is abusive, uh, physically, mentally, uh, verbally, however we are feeling. He, he wants every one of us to feel respect and every one of us to have dignity. Uh, that's why he reached out to people that otherwise were being abused, otherwise were being mistreated. He made sure that the people around knew that the kingdom of heaven was for everyone, for all of those folks, for, for people that considered themselves pious and the con people that considered themselves lower than low. Uh, he reached out to the people, the undesirables, the outcasts, whatever people were calling them at the time, he reached out to them to show them that they were loved. That is showing all of us that we all deserve to be loved and to have dignity in our lives. And sometimes we are in situations where it just seems like we continue to bang our heads against people. Uh, we continue to fight. We continue to argue. It can be friendships. It can be family members. It can be uh, people around us that are just not healthy for us. It's not a good situation for us to be in. Uh, sometimes we're in situations where we're constantly dragged down. We're constantly being uh, made fun of. We're, we're, whatever the case may be, we just don't feel like we're being respected. And those are the times that we have to be able to acknowledge that it's not working, to turn away, and the healthiest thing for us to do is to let it go. Now, when we let things go, it not only means being able to walk away from a damaging situation, it also means the times that we carry resentment, the times that we carry anger towards somebody, the times that we don't deal with that, and for years, sometimes just years and years, we remain uh, angry and f focused, and the person that we've even walked away from still lives right here and controls our thoughts and our minds because we cannot let it go. And sometimes the best way to let that go is to be able to talk about it. Find people that we trust, find people that we love, that love us, that are healthy for us. Uh, express the things that we're talking about and be able to let that go. Christ is, doesn't want us to be in abusive situations, but he also doesn't want us to carry anger and resentment. He doesn't want us to carry those things. He doesn't want us to even to carry guilt. The more that we can share about the things that where we have harmed other people, the more that we can share and talk about those things, the more that we can let that go. We're not meant to hang on to things that hurt us. We're not meant to let that, uh, those, those harmful things uh, burden us and drag us down. What we're meant to do is to be able to let that go and to continue our walk with Christ. I hope that whatever we're carrying, whether it's a, a, a relationship, a friendship, a, a, cir a circumstance that we're in that is not healthy for us, whether it's a feeling that's holding us down, I hope that today we can focus on sharing it, talking about it, and letting it go. Love God, love yourself, and love your neighbor.